What's up, y'all? It's Corner Sports Nut. How in the world do undrafted free agents opt out of the NFL season? You're an undrafted free agent. More than likely, uh, your career is over. There's going to be a new batch of kids next summer or next April that's going to be getting signed. You think the NFL owners aren't, aren't aware? They, they're not going to take note that they gave you an opportunity and you opted out? You opted out? And you're not a superstar, so I don't, I don't understand that. You know how hard it is to get an NFL contract? You're an undrafted, you're an undrafted rookie? Nothing is guaranteed? And you opt out? Now I know all about the pandemic and being safe, but you're an undrafted rookie. The chances of you making the team is slim anyway. Slim to none. So you're gonna opt out? You're gonna take a break? Yeah, I just don't want to play football. You're the last on the totem pole. You're like that walk-on at a Division I school. Nobody really takes you that serious. And then you opt out because of the coronavirus. So my thinking is, if you're an undrafted free agent, you just don't want to play football. You're retiring. Because undrafted rookies, it's an uphill battle to make, to make the team. You got like less than a 1% chance to make the team. And you opt out. Yeah, you don't want to play football. It's okay. I get it. After a while, football becomes, it's just a job. It's a hard job. Only time it's fun is during, during the games. But if you're an undrafted rookie and you opt out, you're telling me straight up you don't want to play football. That you're done. Undrafted rookies opting out? You gotta realize, man, you're not Dante Hightower who's gonna come back in 2021 and probably be a starter for New England. You're not on that level. And then you got Devin Funch Funches. He's opting out. He made a couple of dollars, so he had another guy. He had one free agent offer by Green Bay for $2.5 million. And he's opting out. He's 25, 26 years old. At least he made some money before he decided, I don't want to play football. It's just, look, just crazy. Like, you play football since you're seven, eight years old. You get a chance to make the NFL. And you say, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to play this season. You didn't make no money yet. For you to become an undrafted free agent and get a deal is almost slim to none. But you know what's gonna happen. You got them Division II kids that's hungry, them Division I AA kids that's hungry. They're gonna suck, they're gonna get a chance. They're not want, they're not thinking about no coronavirus. And they're gonna make a roster. And they're gonna realize their dream. But undrafted rookie free agents opting out. Yeah, they don't want to play football. I can understand guys that made 30, 40, 50 million dollars. I can understand the Kansas City Chief offensive lineman. He's a doctor. He don't need football. But um, rookies opted out. A little crazy.
a little, a little crazy. Now I can understand Patrick Chung. I can understand Dante Hightower, Marquise Goodwin. Like I said, they're veterans. They're concerned about their family. Dante Hightower just had a baby. So he's concerned about his, his newborn. Marquise Goodwin had a baby five months ago. His lady had like three miscarriages. So yeah, he's concerned about his child. I can understand those guys. Those guys are kind of established. But an undrafted rookie? Not playing football? I hope you guys don't try to come back next year and play. It's not happening. It's, like I said, it's going to be a whole new batch of kids that's hungry. They don't care nothing about no COVID-19. They don't care about that at all. And other football news, you got like maybe 5% of the players or 3% of the players that opted out. But I'm wondering why the NFL didn't do the bubble thing. They got the resources. They could have did a bubble. They could, they could have had everybody in one place and they could have did a bubble like the NBA. Today I read, what, 21 guys already tested positive? Camps, like, opened up today? So, the NFL, they put in a plan as far as guys hanging with, with a lot of other people, guys going to party with 15 or more people, guys going to events. Can't be around people. Can't be around 15 or more people that you could be fine. The NFL is not playing. They know good and well they can't keep you safe anyway. But the players got to use common sense. They got to use common sense. So if you get the COVID NFL players and they find out you've been around more than 15 people and you're not wearing your mask outside the facility, they can find you. Uh, which is kind of ridiculous because you're around 53 guys during practice. So it's kind of ridiculous. And you're tackling guys and breathing on guys. You're in the same locker room. So NFL can't protect you as far as the COVID. Now, they'll put a lot of other procedures and protocols in place, but... Giving the players protocols and telling them don't be around 15 people or more. Okay, cool, but they're around 50, they're around 60 people every day, 70 people every day. Trainers, coaches, other players. You cannot protect the NFL football player from catching the COVID. But then again, that's going to help other people get jobs going to be a lot of players out there that get sick and then the NFL is going to sign free agents who wouldn't have got a chance otherwise now they're getting a chance because of the people are getting sick from the COVID and they're going to seize their opportunity you better believe practice squad players they're going to get a lot of work this year a lot of work. 2020 is just different, you know? It's just different. It's crazy. This is Corner Sports Net. I'll talk to you guys later.